that's how you do it. Mwah. Hello everybody. Welcome to Bass and Bonsai. Topwater BFS in edition. Here we go. Just caught this monster. Buckle up and hang on. It's going to be a good show. Got my smallest rod and reel combo out. Now, I don't have my smallest. I don't have a baby Pop X, but I've got the Pop X on. I okay, threw pretty much all the line off. Right over here is the honey hole. I just want to put one across that. There we go. Oh, it's a monster. Oh boy. He ate that thing, I think. No, it's not on the outside. I thought he had it all the way in his mouth. There we go. Third cast, maybe, of the morning. I think they call that the white python, the Pop X. Well, we had him hooked good. Mm -hmm. A little caught that without even trying. Nice bass. He's a jumper. There we go. See that? He didn't want it fast. I was kind of killing it and bringing it back. Topwater BFS Bassin, baby. How you do it? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful largemouth bass. Look at that fish. He's a beast. He's gonna jump. Well, it looks like I picked a good color and size. Now we just need a big bass. Right when it hit the water. Oh, that is a better bass, too. Right when it hit the freaking water. Oh boy. Back the boat up. I'm not done with that spot. That's a good bass. Oh, that's a good bass too. Oh yeah. Come on. Don't get off. Oh, we got him. That is a fat one. That is a fat bass. What do you guys think? Did the tiny cut and raise him up without breaking? Look at that rod. You can boat flip him with this little 6.3 altar light. That's why that rod is worth every penny. Very fat bass. Man, that thing's awesome. There it is. There it is, boys and girls. Topwater bass fishing at its best. BFS gear, Mega Bass, Pop Max. That's the uh, white python color. Very nice, fat, chunky, large mouth bass. Probably a female, not 100% sure. That's the Cayenne Teton six foot three, ultra light rod, two piece. I don't think it comes in a one, otherwise I'd get that one. That is an awesome reel. This one's a little loud, I haven't figured it out, but that is the Aldebaran BFS XG, uh, 2015 or I think is when it was made. Awesome combo awesome day so far yeah if i don't get hooked all right one last look at this awesome beautiful largemouth bass i know it's probably only a pound but on bfs gear ultralight it's awesome let's see if it'll jump all right come on oh that's how you do it it's all about tickling the tongue on them old girls that's how you do it let's go more bass are out here. Let's get them. Right back at it. The uh, that bass hit right when it hit the water. And that's what you see. I you know I cast right and switch and reel right, and I had no issue setting a hook on that one or this one for that matter. As long as you get used to a process, however you're fishing, you can get very good at doing it that way. They are on this white. Man, that was a good choice. I just happened to was like, I haven't tried this in a little while. And it usually had done good when I first got it. But I kind of went away from it and either went with the smallest or the biggest of the you know, poppers for Mega Bass. I kind of left this one alone till today. Good thing we got it out. Mm. Oh, it's a little dude. But he's a jumper. Wow, it's a little bass. But what makes it all the more fun is a little BFS setup. Can't beat it. Hoping 
since I've got this uh, rod, I've been waiting for a day where I'll catch like a, you know, four or five, what I call a giant, a big one, which is a giant or a big one around here, on this little bitty rod. I know it'll handle it, no problem. Heck, I, you know, you saw me boat flip that bigger bass in. But man, it's gonna be fun. If I can keep it buttoned up, so I know it'll be jumping. I know there should be one right up here still. Oh, that sucker nailed it. Wow. <laughs> That dude hammered that bait. Look at you go, you little devil, you. Oh, you're feisty. Feisty largemouth bass. Mwah, give him a kiss. Feisty bass. Now, I did, I just broke my treble hook. You guys see that? Look at that. I just have two right now. So, I'm gonna try it because this color's working. I got a few options. I do have uh, other trailers like that I could switch out or I could just switch to a different color bait try that real quick but okay I did break the treble hook on that bait now I may switch it back to white but I just have switched baits I have on a the Oki Janawa or whatever color I can never pronounce it right but I switched to that color just to you know since I have limited time from the white python but if I have to I can you know split ring pliers I have I can switch that trailer right back to the white one so it's always a good idea to have that in case you need to do something like that but before that sun gets all the way up and hits the shaded area I want to just try to hit it so I'll give it a few you know more whoa right there it doesn't seem to matter I don't know if you guys can see that with all the sun but that's why I was thinking I'm not 100% sure if the color makes a huge difference today you see right there it doesn't but in case I get a big fish I want to make sure I had all them trebles I thought that through and said yeah make sure Mwah. if you get a big one hickling you catch it I know there's a fish there. I know for a fact there's a fish right there It's something it's a fast moving bait and you don't get hit but you're sure there's something there i like to slow down hit them with the bottom bouncing slower bait just to see told you yeah that fish, they just didn't want top water, but there's a bass right there. I knew it. Giving them the old one-two punch today with the Kang Tetons and Shimano's BFS. Mwah. We get them out of them honey holes. Yes, we do. See how I did that? Backup bait. I, I, I just knew that spot, there definitely is holding a the bass. There's no way it can't have a bass on it. One of these little guys, if anything. So... That's what I use my old shaky head for the, when you just know there's a fish there, give it a little extra time, work that old shaky head through there, game on. There may be more than one there, so I'm going to hit it one more time. Okay, although it did work, I did take the time. And I switched out to a good uh, treble on the white python, just in case. Because this color, right when I started with this color, I figured it worked the best. I want to uh, have my best chances and odds. And the fact that right here, I just caught the one on a worm, and I threw that bait through and didn't get hit. I want to make sure that, you know, I can get any topwater hit that is out there. And I think this all white is the best color. Yep. Oh, come undone. And another one came back on. All right, let's keep the boat out. There may be more of them right in that spot. All right. Still working. She is still working. Oh. You got to watch these little ones. will try to hook you with that hook. I guarantee it. 
Look at that. Little baby. Cheeky May May in the wind. You guys ever seen Nell? Liam Neeson, Jodie Foster? Check out that movie. You'll get some of my Cheeky May May in the wind jokes. And then you'll realize just how funny I am. Or funny looking. All right. We just had either two fish or that same fish came back and got it, but back-to-back -back hits on this Pop X. Right off this, what starts to come out to a little bit of a point. So let's throw back up there and see what we got. Yep, there's more in there. Stay back. Oh, that is a nicer bass. Get a nicer bass, boys and girls. Come on. Oh, look at that dragon. That drag is not loose. Finally, a good, nice bass. Don't come off. Get up over it. Oh, you sturdy dog. Get out there. Jump for him. They see you. Come on. Yep, ain't gonna jump. Whoa, we're gonna run. That rod. That is about a two two pound bass that is on fire. Get over here, you on fire upside down bass. That might be a bit much. Look at that rod. It's gonna break and mess me up. Get up here, you big dog. Big girls. The big girls are. On fire. True story. All right. That, my friends, is how you do it here at Bass and Bonsai. You catch some nice bass on BFS gear. Small, a lot of, that hook is sharp. It keeps hooking me in the finger every time I get by it. Nice, large mouth bass. They're on the menu here at Bass and Bonsai. Love this combo. This is an awesome day so far. I don't even know if I've been here an hour yet. All right, one last look at old girl. Mm, she going back in the water. You think she'll be a jumper? Well, let's find out. If you tickle that tongue, they'll jump. Or do that. I ain't mad at her. That was an awesome. Biggest bass I've caught on that six foot three ultralight two-piece Kang Teton to date. But we're going to get bigger. Let's do it. Let's do it. Exactly how we do it. Big large mouth bass. Let's see if it'll jump. That is a beauty. Jump. Yeah! Woo! The taste of success.